results day is in less than 24 hours and I am scared. The university I'll be going to is maybe not going to be as happy and bubbly as I normally am on my channel because this video is quite a stressful one for me. I know many other people who will be receiving the A-level results as well will be terrified. It's very scary, I can confirm that. It is the 17th of August and it's now 2.35. Tomorrow on the 18th of August receive our A-level results if we've gotten into university and yeah I am very very nervous. So I was genuinely debating or not whether to make this video. I feel like because my channel's been so based around studying for so long this is a huge thing in my life that's kind of to do with that I wasn't going to film me opening my results or anything like that I feel like I've changed my mind now because no matter what way it goes I feel like you know you guys deserve to kind of know because you've been here for so long and you've literally been on the whole journey with me so I've actually just posted a TikTok now asking how you guys are feeling and everything some 24 hours how you're feeling best of luck everyone I'm definitely the most scared for biology 100% because I feel like not a single one of those papers went well like I, I know they didn't maths that application I just messed it all up I tried so hard and I knew that course so 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 well and the facts and everything like that but application and questions just completely messed it up so I am super 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 scared because I feel like that could definitely be the one who make it go the complete wrong way I'm terrified all I know is that you know I couldn't physically revised any more than I did and the late nights I was having the amount I was like kind of memorizing and stuff like that I, like I genuinely couldn't have done it anymore like art as well and I feel like that took up so much of my time but yeah I do regret doing biology in the end loved it at GCSE and I did love learning it all but those exams just really I did not like at all especially with their like specific mark schemes it's not good i'm just telling myself and you know if you guys are receiving your results on the 25th for gcse next year for a levels or anything like that know that you've tried your best everything happens for a reason that's what i'm telling myself you know i might get opportunities somewhere else that i never would have at my firm choice so <laughs> Hey guys, it might not look like I've moved since earlier, but I have tried to sort of like distract myself. Me and my mum went out to the shops at 9.05 and it's just getting scarily closer, which is just so terrifying. Very scared. Keeping it real with you guys, there were some moments in the night that I literally just started crying, so... I tried to distract myself, I watched one of my comfort films and just took my mind off it. Morning guys, it's currently 7.34. I literally had the worst sleep of my life. I kept waking up at every single hour. It was like not good. 45 minutes until we can log on to UCAS and I need to collect my results between 8 and 9. So if it does crash for ages, then I'm just going to have to go into school anyway. I really want to try and get on UCAS first to see if I've got in. So I actually ended up going and getting my results. As all my friends said that they were going in for 8am, so I went as well and then I grabbed them went back to the car and I actually took them home without opening them unlike most of my friends but yeah oh dear I could have a sneak peek at your results no 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 do I just want to know if they're bad and then I can just like accept the fact that I've not got in let's do it on if you want So you're going to know sooner or later. Oh, fine. I ain't done it now. I'm in a more calm and collected state now. Um, they're not really calm. I'm very excited now. I got into my dream university in the world and I've kept it so, so, so quiet. I feel like 
nobody really knows where I'm going on like my YouTube and my Instagram. I was waiting until this video to tell everybody. See, I can spill the beans now. First, I'm gonna go through my grades because I know that's what a lot of you will be wanting. And to get into my uni, these grades. So I got an A in history, A in art, and then a B in biology. And you know what? I am happy with that. To me, it didn't matter what I got as long as I got into my university and I did. And I'm so proud of myself. And if I'm saying all this and you still don't know where I'm going, the university I'll be going to is University of Edinburgh. <laughs> My favourite place, my favourite city. I cannot express how excited I am. I will be going there to do art. I cannot, I cannot believe it. I cried getting an offer from them and I've cried again actually getting into the place and it's an incredible feeling. I cannot wait to take you guys with me over the moon and I do just want to say how your day's gone, good or bad, remember grades do not define you. I wish you all the best and you should know that what you've achieved is still incredible. You've worked hard. If it's paid off, it's paid off. If it hasn't, there's still other options out there. Uni isn't the only one. There's also the option of clearing and everything like that. I was completely rooted into that because you just don't know what's gonna happen. But yeah, I love you all and, and I cannot wait to start this journey with you. Obviously, you know, I live in England at the minute, so I will be moving countries, but I've got family in Scotland, so it'll be so, so, so nice having them there as well. Yeah, I'm in shock. Hope you guys are happy with yours. Let me know in the comments. If you wanted to speak to anything about anything, I'll be there for you. But yeah, University of Edinburgh, here we come. But make sure to subscribe down below and give it a huge thumbs up, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.